What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a, an accurate site plan in Revit using the surveyor's CAD plan that has only points. So sometimes the surveyor will give you a plan that has uh, those contour lines of the terrain and I've already shown you how to create a terrain using that so check out uh, that tutorial in the description of this video but if you want to do it from points well then it's a bit different and it's uh, a bit more complicated but it's no problem it, it can be done so I'm going to be showing you that in today's tutorial but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and I'm actually doing this as a request from one of my patrons that has uh, that uh, that's at the level where he has one-to-one -one training so if you want to get one-to-one -one Revit tutoring from me uh, check out my patreon so for $30 a month you can get an hour of my time for me to help you with your project and I'm helping with one, one of my patrons projects right now as you can see he sent me this and I'm just going to be showing you and him how to solve it okay so here we've got the site plan from the surveyor and here we've got these uh, dimensions so these are basically elevations and we only got have these points now we have to make some adjustments in AutoCAD before we link this or load it into Revit so the first thing is this looks like a 2d plan but if you go into 3d so if you just orbit around by holding the shift key as you can see it's not a 2d plan it's actually a 3d plan now this is great if you have uh, those contour lines but when you don't it's uh, just confusing for uh, Revit and it just makes a a complicated plan like this so I don't like that so let me just go back a couple of times uh, like this and now I can flatten this so you just go and you type in flatten like this so just go flatten you select everything you hit enter enter again you wait for a while because uh, AutoCAD needs to do its job and now if you or orbit around again as you can see now it's all flat everything is on the ground okay so let's go back okay one more thing uh, here you can see next to each number we have this little point but when we load this into Revit this point becomes an actual number and it doesn't work so we can't really find the position of this so in order to fix that uh, what I do is I, I know it's really a simplistic and dumb solution but it works so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to create a, a line and I'm entering Revit shortcuts into AutoCAD so that's not working and let's just uh, copy this oops yeah when you're working for a while in AutoCAD in Revit it's hard to go back into AutoCAD so let me just rotate this around like that and let's move it over here okay so we've got this little cross or X uh, on the on the number so what I'm just going to do is select both of these go copy and then I'm just going to copy it all the way around at each of these points now you don't have to do each point if you have some points that you don't really need of course you can skip those but I'm just going to go with each one and just place this so I can later on attach uh, attach elevation points when creating a topography in Revit so it's going to take a while but once you're finished you can load it into Revit and it's going to be working nicely now once I've made all of these additional changes I'm just going to save this on my desktop so just go here to file save as and let's go to desktop let's call this geocad plan hit save now we can go straight into Revit create a new architectural template uh, project and once we're here I first like to set the units to meters because as you saw in that plan we've got meters for elevation points and here let's add two decimal places hit just OK and uh, now go to your site plan and here you can go to the insert tab find uh, the import CAD now you can use either import CAD or link CAD link CAD is just going to give you an ability to make additional changes in AutoCAD and then reload it into Revit in this case I don't really need that so I'm just going to import it uh, I'm just going to go to desktop a CAD plan geo CAD plan and uh, now here for the colors you can either preserve them or use black and white I'm just going to go with black and white for this one uh, for levels let's uh, yeah leave everything visible let's go with meters because it's 
it is in meters and just hit OK. Now it's going to place it like this. I'm just going to select it and unpin it and then maybe position it uh, in the center of the screen. So I like to have this center point, uh, project base point in the center of my uh, location. And then I can just pin it back in place. And here I'm just going to select these elevation points or markers and just put them a bit on the outside of the uh, location. As, as you can see, you can't really see your uh, project uh, if it's too close. So let me just go like this. Okay, this looks good enough now. And now as you can see, we've got our uh, points and those circles, they're gone. So that's why I needed to create these uh, cross signs because uh, those circles just disappear. So I, I know it takes a, a bit of time, but once you're finished, you get these nice uh, little points where you can attach your elevation points. So before we go ahead and do the elevation points uh, in the massing and site to topo surface tool. Uh, as you can see here, these are starting from 140. They're all around 140. They go up to, I don't know, 145, 148. Okay, they go up to 150. And if I go here into VR for my site plan, you can see the top of the site plan is only 100 meters. So I'm just going to change this to 200 as well as the cut plane at 200, uh, just because I want to be able to see all of, all of the points. If I just started placing points at 100 meters or 140 meters, they wouldn't be visible in this site plan before that adjustment. Okay, now let's just go into topo surface and just go with place points. And for the elevation, yeah, this is the hard part. This is a bit annoying. You have to really write in the number, so 141.73, and then you place it here. Then you go ahead over here with uh, just 140.67, and then just place it. And you do basically the same thing for the rest of it, so 140.39, you place that one. Now, if anybody knows a quicker way to do this, as far as I know, uh, you can just use uh, those contour lines. And if you don't have those, I guess it's manual work in that case, like like this thing. And if you can't see numbers, uh, just make sure to go here to wireframe. And yeah, now you can see them again. So you just go ahead and type in all of the numbers. And once you're done, you have your topo surface. There we go, I think this is all of the points. So I just hit finish, go into 3D. And as you can see, this is down below, but if we go up here, here we can see our site perfectly done according to all of those site points. Now, uh, if I go here into one of the elevations, as you can see, the elevations are way below the site. So what you would need to do is to bring these up a bit to the site level and yeah, then the project will work. Okay, so that's how uh, that's my approach of creating the site from these site points. And please, if you have a better solution or if you think you uh, you have an automated way of generating this site without having to go through all of the points manually, 
please link it in the description of this video. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. If you want to uh, get one-on-one -on -one tutoring from me, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. And make sure to subscribe for daily videos, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.